Today on Courage in Sports. For these young felons, courage defined by the gravity of their crimes. Get some leadership up there and get it started. Now they're redefining courage by earning a second chance. Yeah, the ultimate goal for me is to walk out these gates and do something better with my life. Courage in Sports, the most inspirational hour in television, now. Salvation is a funny thing. It can be found in the simplest of places. Beneath the sky, beside a desolate road, behind a fence. Kids will have memories for the rest of their life about tonight. In Texas, to many, high school football is a religion. Football is one of those games that teaches you about life. It consumes the air and owns the night. The games are a state tornado. They've got the cards stacked against them. Tonight is no different. The Prince of Peace Eagles are hosting the Gainesville State Tornadoes. Proud parents look on from the stands as their Eagles seek their fourth victory of the season. However, for the visiting Tornadoes, their victory won't be determined by tonight's outcome. They seek something far beyond a win. To the 2530, after the 35-30. They seek salvation. Gainesville State is a correctional facility. The kind that's found behind a fence. On the outskirts of a small town in North Texas lies Gainesville State School, a maximum security correctional facility for young men between the ages of 10 and 18. It's home to more than 280 juvenile delinquents, all of whom are felons, where crimes committed can range from aggravated assault to manslaughter. The school's mantra is simple, progress over punishment. Before you can actually treat anyone, even juveniles or adults, you know, you got to first get the behavior um, situation established. We focus a lot on structure, behavior, routines because from where they come from it's chaotic. This young man may be my next door neighbor tomorrow so while he's here I want him to get everything possible to make him uh, a better citizen. Those kind of things that he's going to need when he gets back out as the kids say into the free world. Bred from a life of violence, drug abuse and abandonment. To these young men courage was defined by their ruthless actions. Who's stolen the most? Whose gun is the biggest? I started making a couple bad decisions after my father passed away. I started looking up to the wrong people for advice. My father left us, so I was looking for a father figure. I was always looking after my little sister and my brother. And you know, it put me in a situation where I couldn't even you know, support them anymore. I had to do uh, some bad stuff. As long as we equip them with the things they need to make a better choice, then we have to give them a second chance. You have to learn from your mistakes. If you don't learn from your mistakes, then there's no point in living. You know, the ultimate goal for me is to walk out these gates and do something better with my life. Before convicted, they roamed the planet freely as individuals committed to a life of crime. Let's go, guys. We need to be on the field. Now they are redefining courage by committing to something else entirely, a football team, where they must exhibit strength and maturity and play by the rules to compete in the game of life. Becoming a Gainesville State Tornado isn't merely incentive for good behavior, it's a rite of passage. To get to on a football team, it's it's really tough. Get some leadership up there and start it up. C O encompasses their behavior on the dorm, but also their grades. No pass, no play. They have to be passing their classes. They have to be working in their groups with their case managers. They have to be learning the skills that it's going to take to survive. Ray, you've got to set the wall back there. They're learning the lesson that anything in life worth having is worth working for. Ball is snapped. The way I look at it is. In life, you, you have to surround your, yourself around people that are doing the same things that you want to do. It's definitely opened up a lot of ambition for me and, and wanted to get good grades and, and wanted to go further in school. 
If they did not want to do it, then we probably would not be talking about courage. I mean, it is their inner spirit and their willpower. They really want to change. You're not bloods, you're not crips, you're tornadoes. And that's one of the things the coach used to always tell them when he get them on the field. You can't do A, B, and C, and you got some bad history, you're going to be history around here. They got to really get some good history behind them if they want to join this elite group that's a football team out here. What's it take to be a winner? Silk is what? Silk is what? Silk is Tornado. Thunder. Tornado. Lightning. Tornado. FC. Let's go. Tonight, the team that's at Principe is the Gainesville State Tornado. The self-discipline that is the Tornado Creed culminates on Friday nights when the team is given the unique and ultimate privilege of leaving the facility to play high school football teams in the free world. Texas high school football is probably the greatest in the nation. They've written books about it. They've made television shows about it. And for a chance for these guys just to get a taste of it is just amazing. The Texas Friday night is king. For some of them, it's the first time they've ever been a part of anything positive. It gives you a taste of you know what it was whenever you were out there. It makes you want to go home and do what's right so you can, you know, taste it again. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us another day. Though we are sinners, we are with you. Please give us this victory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Every game of the season, the play on the road, they all have 19 to 20 players. For them to be able to play tonight, they have to follow some very, very strict rules. Taking the field under heavy surveillance has become second nature. And though they are outmatched every week, they realize they have but 60 minutes to live the life they dream of from their cells. One, two, three, uh -huh. Nothing else matters but the game they love. For some of us, this is the last time that uh, we may get to touch the football fields. Even if we didn't win that particular game, we won just by going out there and, and playing as hard as we could. Number 24, Chris. They just keep coming back at them. Who's the split in right here? You just run a go. Looking to play deep, passes straight down the middle of the field. Always getting up and attacking, trying to pull it out when even, you know, when the score is lopsided. It wouldn't be their night, but the tornadoes are one step closer to what they truly seek. Taking the skills learned as a team and applying them as individuals on the outside. Amen. Amen. Good luck next week, Gainesville. We never forget that where, where we at and and take for granted being out here, being able to play football in the first place. They've made some mistakes in their lives, but they earn this privilege of playing. A lot of high school kids don't realize that the privilege to play football is earned. It's about moving forward in life and, and trying to learn from your mistakes. As they get closer to the facility, know I'm locked up. I'm not free. I'm getting searched as soon as I get to the gate. But it gave them a taste of freedom, and that's motivation. You know, play high school football, it was just something that I, I didn't think would happen again. I just thank God for the opportunity that I have here and, and what I'm doing with the, the this chance that I'm given, you know, because it, it could always be worse. Maybe a uh, prison or maybe even dead. They gave me respect I never had in the free, and they always told me to do good. And they tell me, you know, follow your dreams no matter what. You know, you play football, you know, you got yourself together, do what you got to do, and you have anything in your life you want. Imagine being a 17-year-old young man. Once he leaves the fence line, he has nothing and nobody and nowhere to go. We had the family support. We had the, the mom and dad in the home. Some of these kids have absolutely nothing. And what they get, they earn it themselves. And I think that's what all these kids want. They want somebody to be proud of them. They want to belong. You know, all they've done is negativity. You know, all they've been told is no, 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 no. But they got to know that there is forgiveness out there somewhere. And uh, it's helps. It's helps. For the Gainesville State Tornadoes, courage leads to salvation, the kind that's found beyond the fence.